Hello everyone, this is Matthew Poor with Profiling Solutions in Atlanta. Today we're going to walk through installing a module into our Sugar CRM system. Profiling Solutions develops, sells, and also uh, allows the download of several Sugar CRM enhancements through the form of Sugar CRM modules. So today we're going to walk through installing one of these packages. Now, this particular module is distributed through email. A lot of our modules are. Uh, you'll get an email when you originally purchase or if we send out an update like in this case uh, this module is provided as an attachment it's a .zip file so a zip archive file all sugar serum modules are going to be zip files so this notice lets us know that it's version 1.3 has several enhancements and bug fixes so we really want to get this one installed pretty quickly I'm using Microsoft Outlook which a lot of you are if you're not using Outlook if you're using something like Gmail or Thunderbird or even Outlook uh, Web Access. It's going to look a little bit different, but the gist is always the same. We want to get a copy of this module saved to our desktop. In Outlook, we just do a Save As, and we get that zip file itself. Let's go back to our web browser. Let's go back to our Sugar Serum instance. We're looking at a contact page. We actually want to come up here and look for the admin link in the top right corner of your Sugar Serum instance. Now you must be an administrative user in Sugar to have this admin link. If you're not an administrator of at least some module, this isn't going to show up. And if you're not a system administrator, you won't be able to install the module. So let's click that link. We're going to scroll down. A little, little bit more than halfway through, we're going to see the developer tools section. And we're looking for module loader. Module loader, of course, going to be used to install modules. Also for language packs and updates like this one. So we see we have a place to browse for our file. Let's go to our desktop. Scroll down. And here's our file that we just downloaded from the email. Click Upload. And we can see it's now on the system, ready to install. We can confirm that we're at version 1.3. You get some basic information. Usually you get to know who made the module and a little bit about what it does if you don't already know. Click the Install button. We're presented with a license agreement. Often there's going to be a README file with some basic information about the about what you're installing. The important thing is to come in here and click on the Accept and click Commit. Commit's actually going to go ahead and install the module into the system. We'll give it just a moment. When the page reloads, we're looking for the words Module installed successfully. We're at 100%. Now, if there was an issue, it would not say 100% module installed successfully. You'd probably have some kind of error message that would be relevant. Now, of course, our modules are tested with Sugar CRM, any new and recent version of Sugar. So, if you do have issues installing our modules, give us a call and we'll see what we can do for it. Now, we can go back to our module loader. And we can see that it's now listed as an installed module. It is 1.3 again, the current version. And we can also go confirm by just testing out the new functionality. In this case, the Google Calendar Sync. We can see if we go to Calendar, we have the Google Calendar set up. So we know the module's working. We can, uh, we can see that it's been installed and it's affected our system. So that's, that's the basic idea of installing a Sugar CRM module. Download the zip file to your desktop upload it through your module loader when you're an administrative user and just go through the the clicking install process of course anytime you have any issues you can find us at profilingsolutions.com comment on our blog send us an email at support at profilingsolutions.com we're always happy to help out have a good day everyone